I'd just felt like I was throwing stuff out into the world and, and it didn't matter. And you get to this point where you're like, maybe no one can hear me. Maybe my voice isn't significant. Maybe there's nothing else out there. I went to Bible college and I didn't think of myself as an artist at the time, but music ministry was the most creative field that they had. A life in the music business can, can look so many different ways. Um, and a lot of them are ways that, that I don't want to live, you know? I had just exited, or just about to exit a music program at my school. So it was a major transition point in life for me. Uh, I was discovering kind of like deeper wounds that I didn't know were there before. Uh, just from things of growing up as a pastor's kid and loving music at the same time. In the tradition that I grew up in, there is definitely a hierarchy of like what was important, like what gifts were important to the Lord. And um, so my plan my whole life had been to overseas missions. And then it was like, okay, that door closed, like close cultural missions, and then that door closed. And so at this specific place where God's like, keep creating, um, it's like, well, then why don't I just, like, what do I do that for me that even if no one else listens, like, I will still enjoy doing it. If the fact is I might do art every day for the rest of my life and no one will ever care, all that matters is I'm supposed to keep doing it. Hutchmart is my favorite weekend of every year. It's a conference of artists and songwriters and speakers and visual artists and leather workers and poets, all of the kind of people that you want to be surrounded by if, if you're trying to create or just to take in creation. Art and storytelling are incredibly important to me and the person that I was made to be in understanding truth because I'm just kind of going through life as a robot, but I can feel there's something, there's deeper, there's a mythology to what I'm going through. Like I'm an eternal being living out a quest and a journey, and that, that's why I create my own stories, because I need those stories and, you know, this art to help me to understand deeper truth and the, the deeper truth of the gospel. When I maybe could be tempted to despair that this is like not going to work out in a healthy way, I can look to this community and see people who've done it for decades. I started songwriting when I was 13 and really had no idea what I was doing. I just felt stirring in my heart that something has to come out. And it began with the worst songs that I think I could ever imagine. Coming to Hutchmoot seemed that I wasn't the only one who also had this drive and this something inside that has to come out. The Robertson community really rallied around the comics that I made whenever I started getting them out there and uh, people, you know, thinking of me as an artist and help, helping me to see, see myself that way. This is a community, out of all communities, that has probably shaped my creativity the most. Hutchmoot is like a forest glade with a bonfire surrounded by battlefields and one special night you get to come and drop drop your sword and your shield and sit down and there's that like, ah, made it. And then the rest of the night is spent sharing stories and eating food and singing songs and watching the sparks rise and mingle with the stars. And as the dawn comes up, like we all go back and we pick up our swords and our shields. But like, we know that one day the sun rise will be that last one and we'll get to keep doing this. But we're also given the courage and the strength and everything we need to like keep going. Don't miss it. Just don't miss it. it. If you have homework this weekend, yes, it can wait. Trust me when I say that this conference is worth more than a grade. I missed four days of classes for it. It was worth it, 100%, because when you walk into this space, you will be known, you'll be seen, and then you also have the opportunity to know others and to see others.